What is the scariest thing you've ever seen while driving at night? Driving down a two-lane divided highway. I came up to a couple semis and went into the left lane to pass. I did a shoulder check to get back into the right lane when I saw headlights in front of me. In my lane. The car was going the wrong way. I managed to swerve into the ditch, felt like I was mere centimeters from death. Thought my wife's scream would be the last thing I ever hear. And I never want to hear it again. The semis I passed all pulled to the shoulder to come check on us. Didn't see the car anywhere. I think they just kept going. Had to pull into a gas station after and collect myself. Actually very nice of those semis to check on you guys. Truckers are either the nicest people on the road or the biggest serial killer assholes. No in between. Someone I knew locally came across a jeep that had just crashed into the ditch on a highway at night, flipped on its top, wheels still turning kind of thing. He was the first on scene so called 911 and ran down into the ditch. The driver, who was badly mangled, had been tossed from the car and was dying. This guy held him and the driver died in his arms. The weirdest part of it all was that he found out the next day that it was his cousin, but he hadn't been able to recognize him. I hope the guy who died was comforted by knowing a family member was with him. I was following a gray Toyota Tundra in a massive blizzard through Montana on McDonald Pass. He was going pretty quick most of the way but must have been unfamiliar with how steep the final few miles are. He got away from me as I slowed down to about 35. Not five minutes later I passed his tire marks in the fresh snow that went off the side of the mountain. Pulled over and looked down to see his truck upside down and on fire about 300 yards down. Called 911. He didn't die but was burned up pretty bad. Sad and scary and don't go 50 in the snow just because you have a truck or 4WD. Whilst driving from Morelia to Ciudad Hidalgo, in Mexico, Back in the 80s we had two ways to get to Ciudad Hidalgo which was the National Road or the Old National Road which was called Mil Cumbres. Mil Cumbres basically means 1000 curves. That stretch of road literally had 1000 curves so a lot of people would get motion sickness when on that road. One evening on our way back to my grandparents, who lived in Ciudad Hidalgo, my grandfather was driving and he loved taking Mil Cumbres because it had really nice views and he just really loved driving that road but since we had the new National Road. Not a lot of people use that road anymore so it was kind of desolate with the exception of passing one or two little towns. It was dusk so soon that meant that being on such a desolate road in the mountains, we would be in complete darkness on the road with no many other cars on the same stretch of road. It took two hours to get to the town on that road so maybe 45 minutes into the drive it had already gotten really dark and as we were driving my grandfather started slowing down. I was sitting in the back seat because my grandmother was in the front with my grandfather so I kind of stood over the front chairs to see why he was slowing down. That's when I saw a hug tree log blocking the road. My grandfather came to a stop and immediately started going in reverse to turn around and get out of the immediately. After we turned, my grandfather stepped on the gas pedal and I was sort of thrown back into the back seat. I immediately turned around to see if I could anything and as we were speeding away, I could see men very dimly since it the light from the tail lights from the car were starting to get dimmer and dimmer, coming from out of the adjacent trees next to tree log on the road, with flashlights and guns. We were about to get robbed and thanks to my grandfather's quick thinking and taking action immediately, we avoided it. That was the last time I was ever on that road. I was on I-70 in Colorado going towards Utah, pulled over at a gas station at 8 p.m., fueling up I noticed a couple of attractive women pumping gas, on the other side of the pump was the man in his late forties, just staring at these young women without notice of anything else going on around him. I walk inside to go grab some food for the next few hours of driving, when I come out I see both the younger women's car and the older man's truck are gone. I decided to hang out at the gas station for the next hour to catch a little sleep before hitting the road again. After driving for a few hours, I was speeding heavy, I pull over at yet another gas station, the young women are there getting gas and eating some food on a picnic table. Looked like they had been there for a while. I didn't see any sign or the man in the truck but can't say I was looking very hard for it. Well here is where it got creepy as hell. Can't say I didn't stare at them a bit, I mean they were good looking women. As I am watching them leave I see in the next parking lot over some headlights turn on and it's the same man as before. He leaves when the women leave once again. Okay that's a bit weird but could just be a coincidence as there weren't many places to pull over. I leave a few minutes later and catch up to them. Now this guy is riding their ass with his high beams on. I decided to slow down and stay a distance behind the truck. 
10 minutes or so later the women pull over once again to most likely get this guy off their ass. With a sign of relief the truck keeps going and I continue on my way. About one mile down the road the guy just pulls off to the side of the highway. So I pull off a mile or so down the road again. Sure enough the women drive by and the guy is still following them. At this point we are out in the middle of nowhere and too many coincidences have happened. I called the cops to alert them and about 15 minutes the cops pulled the guy over. I could have just seen too many horror movies that started like this and overreacted but you never know. Better safe than sorry. A closed waffle house. Dear God.